Hello friends, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to make chicken and dumplings with vegetables. Now this chicken and dumplings is not the typical chicken and dumplings. It's got vegetables and those are healthy, all kinds of vegetables. You can put the vegetables of your choice in. So in the meantime, we're going to get started. Come cook with me. Appreciate you joining me. Let's go. Now we have our chicken in here. We're going to leave the fat on. And after we shred it, we'll take care of that and remove some of that fat. But the fat's going to have flavor in this broth. It's going to cut strips like this. And then we're going to chop it into smaller bite sized pieces. Now, in a separate pot, we're going to put some boiling water. We're going to put this chicken in there and we're going to let it come to a boil. We're going to season that up and then we'll cut it up. We'll add it with all the vegetables a little bit later. All right, I have the chicken water, or rather the water, boiling. We're going to turn that down. We're going to add our chicken in this boiling water. Now you can take whole chicken or you can take breasts or whatever kind of chicken you want. You can put them in this uh, pan. You can cook it down. You can shred it. I have made bite-sized pieces versus shredding. And we're going to let that cook. I'm going to turn the heat down to low. And we're going to put some herbs and spices in there as well. A little salt. Some pepper. I'm gonna put some. I keep saying I'm gonna. Should be I'm going to. There we go. We're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of the chicken better than bouillon in there. If you have bouillon cubes, that's fine. Just put that in there as well. And we're gonna be adding some garlic powder, probably about a tablespoon of garlic powder. About a tablespoon of onion powder. And I'm using marjoram. Marjoram is good. I grow that in my garden. You can use oregano or whatever, but I'm going to put about maybe a tablespoon of marjoram in there. And a little bit of rosemary, maybe a teaspoon. Now we got some potatoes cut. I'm going to throw those in as well. If you're into vegetables, there you go. I've got a whole pile of vegetables in there. Be delicious. If you're not into vegetables so much, just keep it simpler. And just do some onions and garlic and the stock that we're going to give you and some herbs and the chicken and the dumplings. Stir that all up. Let that cook for a few minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Turn up my fire just a little bit, mix that all in. This is getting ready with the broth. It's the best part of chicken and dumplings. Put the lid on that for a little bit, let that come to a boil. Now here we have some ingredients and that we're gonna put in. I'm putting in some collards. Swiss chard, you don't need to put either of those in. You put whatever vegetables you like in your chicken and dumplings. I'm gonna chop all this up. I'm gonna chop the carlins up pretty fine. You don't want big chunks in chicken and dumpling because that's all you'll be tasting, which is good regardless, but for chicken and dumplings, we wanna especially taste the chicken and the dumplings. So this will all cook down. This is not going to be as much as it looks right now. When we start cooking it down, it'll be much smaller. Then I have some bok choy here. Thought I'd throw that in from my garden also. And some Swiss chard. We're going to put some onions, garlic, carrots, and I'll let you know as we go along. If you're not into vegetables so much, just keep it simpler. 
and just do some onions and garlic and the stock that we're going to give you and some herbs and the chicken and the dumplings. You know, you can put whatever you want in it also. As I mentioned before, you can put some broccoli in it. I may do that. I, I have a nice head of broccoli that came out of my garden and some bell peppers, onions, garlic, and chicken stock we're going to show you as we go along. Right now I've got all of the collards all cut down. We're going to cut this uh, Swiss chard and bok choy. Remember first, I'm going to throw this in the pot. Get this off the cutting board. Now we're going to cut up the Swiss chard and the bok choy. What, what we want to do here is we want to just make these small. I'm going to do it on a bias, not too large. Goes in like that. These are the stems. We're going to do the same thing with the bok choy. This is very healthy when you start putting all this good vegetable. We're going to fold this up. We're going to cut this down also. Again, this will all shrink down in the pot. Into the pot she goes. Next we're going to cut carrots. We're going to do those on the bias as well. For some reason it always seems to taste better when you cut them like this versus straight. My imagination of course. Up some garlic. Gonna use my chopper for that. Get those in the pot. And an onion. have a pretty good amount of onion. I've got, this is a pretty large onion, probably be one onion, would be equivalent. All of that goes in the pot. We'll throw a little bit of bell pepper in there as well. Like I said, you don't have to put any of these ingredients that you may not like, or these vegetables, you put whatever you want in there. Just remember this is all going to give it flavor. Into the pot she goes. Let's throw a little bit of this broccoli in as well. I think I'll hold off putting that in right now because that will get pretty soft and we don't want that to be so soft that it's not tasty. All right, we've got our chicken that had boiled and we've been cooking that down along with the potatoes. And we are about ready to put in some veggies. Now we're going to be putting in the vegetables. 
which in my case is collards and onions and garlic, carrots, Swiss chard, bell pepper. This is all going to boil down now. It's going to shrink down. Like I said, you do not have to add any of these things. I have potato in there as well. You don't have to, you do not have to have all of these vegetables in there. This is just making it a little more healthy. And so we're going to cook these for a few minutes, five, ten minutes. Let them cook down along with the chicken. Get that all flavoring up that chicken broth. Turn my fire up a little bit. There we go. Now most people do not have the marjoram, so you don't have to put the marjoram in. You can leave that out. You can add uh, oregano, which I love as well. Let this come up to a boil. And in the meantime, we're going to make our dumplings. I did add my broccoli in there as well. Now this is going to be from Bisquick because it has all of the ingredients that you need in there. So we're going to make our dumplings with Bisquick. All right, we've got about two cups of Bisquick in there. We're going to add some of this chicken broth that we cooked. It's still cooking on the stove. Oops. We're going to just add a little bit at a time. And we're going to mix that all up. This is going to make those dumplings have lots of good flavor in them. And you know what else I'm going to put in here? You don't have to. I'm going to throw some buttermilk in there. You know, buttermilk biscuits are the greatest thing. So we're going to try that. But you don't have to. That's just me. Putting a little bit of buttermilk. A lot of people don't have buttermilk. I actually love buttermilk to drink. Put some of my seasoning salt in that I make. And drink that up. Have done that all my life. My parents love to do that. That's how they... That's how come I like buttermilk, I guess. Okay. Now that's a little bit too runny. So we're going to need some more flour. Well, just quick, let's put that. A little more biscuit here. Mix that up. A little more. And what I'm going to try to do this time is I'm going to make the dumplings balls. I'm going to make balls out of it, little round balls, and put that in. I saw some. Oh, excuse me. I saw somebody make that, and I thought, well, that looks pretty good. You can get a lot of dumplings in that way. And this person just made all kinds of these, rolling them up and putting them in the dumpling in the chicken stock. Need a little more biscuit in there. Stick into my glove. Now I've seen people make this with self-rising flour, but I don't have self-rising flour so I'm not making that that way. There, see it's not sticking now. It's good. we're going to take little pieces like this. We're going to roll them up like this. And we're going to put them in the broth when it's time. Not time yet. Now 
This is a quick way to do it too, rather than roll this all out and take your uh, flour and your rolling pin and cut them, blah, blah, blah. This is kind of easy. We'll see how this turns out. I've never made it like this before. So we're going to check it out. I should make these dough balls a little bit smaller. I'm liking it. I hope you do. We'll see how it goes. You don't have to wear gloves. I just have gloves on because I decided that I wanted to. Sometimes I'll wear gloves, sometimes not when I'm doing videos. Check out my other videos. Man, I've got some great ones. 1905 salad, 1905 salad dressing. What I'm finding is my uh, scallop potatoes with ground beef. Getting all kinds of views on that one. Now, why that one more than some of the others? I'm not sure. But of course, you know, YouTube goes worldwide. So you got them all over the world. But, you know, I'm just doing my little videos. No big deal. It's fun to do. It's a lot of work, actually. But I enjoy it. It's okay. That should be enough. Now, if you want more, of course, you, uh, if you have a bigger family or want bigger, a bigger pot of broth and chicken, bigger whatever, then you can make more. I think that'll do it right there, though. My broth is cooking away. Got all these good vegetables in there. Now this is different than the way most people make chicken and dumplings. If you like something new and different, try it. Now, you don't have to have it complicated. Mine, this one is a little bit more complicated because I've added Swiss chard and collards and all kinds of things, potatoes, and those things aren't necessarily in the standard chicken and dumplings, but I wanted to put them in because when I cook, I like to do things a little bit different than the traditional, and that's why I've done this. We'll see how it turns out. See if it turns out, I'll let you know. I'll be truthful, and, and you may want to make it. Now, while this vegetable broth that's cooking up. I'm going to add one more thing here that is really going to make this nice and creamy, and that is cream of chicken soup. Oh, that's going to be good. Strip that up. I've been cooking this broth and the vegetables and the chicken in there for about 20 minutes or so. And um, we're just going to keep cooking until everything is well incorporated. We're going to taste this in a second too to see how that cream of chicken made that. I added a little more added garlic salt also because I tasted it. Needed a little more salt so I got some garlic salt. You don't have to, you can just put salt in it if you like. These are all options for you. See the green there? That's the collards. Collards are great. It's a southern dish. Me being from Southern California, I didn't know what collards were for a long time. Came to Florida, and I've been here for many years, and collards came into existence in my life and I absolutely love them. I make collard soup and I, in fact I have a recipe on my video for that collard soup. I'm going to taste this. Still needs a little more salt to me. We're going to add some more salt, a little more pepper. That up again. See the chicken coming up there. Chicken, carrots, potatoes, Swiss chard, collards. 
onions, garlic. Oh yeah. Now, if this is not thick enough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cold water and some cornstarch. And then we'll boil this up, let the cornstarch thicken, because you want to have a nice thick broth. I'm also going to add some butter. Add about a quarter stick of butter. That'll help you enrich it as well. Get that melted down. Looks good. Does it look good to you? I hope so. Oh yeah, flavor is getting better and better. Taste it as you go, because you can add things that's going to enhance the flavors versus just putting these ingredients in and then hoping it turns out okay. You want to test it, taste it. Make sure you have enough salt, enough whatever else that you're putting into it. Now I have added another can of cream of chicken soup because I wanted to have that rich flavor. So I had this, I've got two cans. The reason is because I've make, made a lot more than you probably will make. You know, if you make a smaller amount, of course you'll use just one can. So, and then I've put, I've added some cold water with cornstarch to thicken this up. See how nice and thick it is. It's coming together nicely. I gave it another taste for salt, pepper, and the final ingredient, you know, any soup you have, you need parsley. So I'm gonna add some parsley flakes. Nice amount of parsley. That kicks up the flavor as well. Let that simmer in the pot for a while, and you know what? We're almost ready to put the dumplings in. Look how nice that looks. And at this point, we are going to be dropping the dumplings, the dough balls, into the pot nice and gently. This is boiling water. And we're going to cook it for 8 to 10 minutes, and we will shake the pot. Just kind of shake it so it goes over. We don't want to stir it. And then in a couple of minutes, we will taste it. We'll put it in the bowl, and then we will taste it. Thank you, friends, for joining me on this Chicken and Dumplings episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It is really a good recipe, and it is delicious. Join me again. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for notification, and we appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.